Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Friday and tips and techniques, and I want to share some tips and techniques on um, our die cuts and coloring um, our die cuts in. Um, I have already um, cut out the Fitting Florets Designer Series paper. I use the basic borders um, dies for that. I have shared a couple techniques lately um, with those beautiful uh, basic border dies. And we're just going to take that piece of paper and put it on a blushing bride four by five and a quarter. We're going to bring in our to go go to greetings and our evening evergreen ink pad and we are going to stamp the thinking of you at the bottom like so. I'm going to go in and adhere that to our card base. Of course our card base is just basic white five and a half by eight and a half going to add that and what our tips is is when we die cut an image that is a close cut so what I have is the frame florets bundle it's a photopolymer stamp set I like to just die cut my dies ahead of time. If it is the red uh, rubber or the cling stamps, I use my Stamparatus. But when it's the photopolymer, I just cut the white out and then stamp on it. I find it easier that way my die doesn't slide one way or another. But what I find when it's white like that, usually my backgrounds are light and it's hard for me to see. So what I like to do is bring in a dark piece of cardstock or a backing. That way that white really stands out. So when I go to ink that photopolymer stamp, I can see right where that white border is on that stamp. Again, when it's red rubber um, and the cling stamps, I use my Stamparatus and make um, a little uh, jig for that. I have showed that technique before, but I really like the way it comes out when it's stamped on a darker piece of paper. I get a nice even inking. I'm just going to go in with my soft succulent blends and color in. Now blends are great for coloring projects in, but I am finding I'm finding a lot of new people that are just starting stamping and, and want to add color, but our blends are nine dollars for the two light and dark blends. So that becomes a lot when you're first starting to get all the colors. So I have been coloring more <coughs> excuse me with my watercolor pencils. I had forgotten all about watercolor pencils, hadn't used them for a really long time, and I'm just going in and making circles with that watercolor pencil, lightly pressing on my flower, and then what I can do to get darker colors is to press harder. So I'm just adding my base with my watercolor pencil, going to go back in. I'm going to do the center and I'm going to push harder. I want the outside edges and our stamps tell us where we need darker color with the little black lines. So I'm just going to go in and add that darker color. Next what I'm going to do to make it a smoother transition from the light to the dark and like I said I have just swirled with the colors. The watercolor pencils are a great way if you're just starting. Um, it's an inexpensive way to get color. I'm going to go in with my blend or excuse me my Wink Estella. You could use blends also on the watercolor pencils but this just gives me a soft look. I'm going to go in and add the lighter colors just to blend it in. 
And there we have a quick, inexpensive way to add color. I'm going to see if I can find, there it is, my bone folder. I'm going to break the edges, burnish the edges of my flower to give it some depth. I'm going to grab a couple dimensionals. So using your dies and then stamping, you can add pieces very quickly. I've got that. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my iridescent pearls. I'm going to grab those blends and I'm going to turn those white pearls into evergreen pearls. And then I'm going to add them to my card. Always best to let them dry a little bit. I did not let them dry, so you need to be a little more careful as you're putting them on your card. But there you have a very quick technique using your dyes and your watercolor pencils. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.